on the morning of March the 16th, 1978, the oil tanker Amoco Cadiz suffered a failure in the steering mechanism, ultimately causing a vast oil spill. It released around 255 million liters of crude oil into the Atlantic off the coast of France. It was the main event of 1978. Devastating scenes of marine life dying under a film of oil were broadcast around the world as over 14,000 volunteers and members of the armed forces got to work cleaning up the most heavily oiled rocks, beaches and creeks. The tanker was en route from the Persian Gulf to Rotterdam via Great Britain, transporting millions of litres of crude oil when it encountered a fierce winter storm with high seas and gale force conditions. A heavy wave hit the tanker, crippling its rudder. It was unable to respond to steering commands. After unsuccessful attempts to repair the damage, the crew put out a distress call that it was no longer able to maneuver. Several ships responded, including the German tug, the Pacific, but their attempts proved incapable of preventing the supertanker from drifting perilously towards the coast of Finisterre in Brittany, France because of its huge mass and the gale force winds. At around 9 p.m., the Amoco Cadiz hit the bottom for the first time, flooding the tanker's engines, while a second strike ripped open the hull, releasing its load into the open sea. About an hour after the first hit, the Amoco Cadiz broke into two sections, releasing its entire cargo of over a million and a half barrels of crude oil. With the French not prepared for such a catastrophic event, the cleanup took time to get underway, hampered as it was by rough seas. The use of precipitating agents prevented the slicks from drifting to the Channel Islands, but millions of litres of oil washed onto French beaches, reaching deep into the sand. The beach cleanup was carried out in two stages the pumping of still liquid oil and the removal of oiled waste. All along the oiled coastline, animal and plant populations were dying in vast numbers. It had become one of the world's biggest environmental disasters. The Amoco Cadiz's cargo formed a dark, dense, slimy blanket both above and below the waterline, a dangerous mix of oil and water that polluted all life forms that drifted through it. The ecological impact was coupled with the long-term effects it would have on the local economy for shellfish and oyster fishermen. The oil, which belonged to the Shell Oil Company, created a slick 29 kilometers wide and 128 kilometers long. It polluted approximately 321 kilometers of Brittany coastline. The isolated location of the tanker and the rough seas hindered cleanup efforts for many weeks following the incident. The Amoco Cadiz slowly sank, but the wreck had to finally be completely destroyed using depth charges set by the French Navy. In 1978, the disaster was estimated to have caused over a quarter of a million dollars in damage to both fisheries and tourist services. The French government took legal action against the Amoco International Oil Company and presented claims totaling two billion American dollars to the United States courts. Ultimately, France was awarded $120 million from the American oil company, but it took until 1990. The Amoco Cadiz oil spill was the greatest environmental disaster of its time. And as a result, the French government set up measures to reduce the risk of accidents and to ensure better rescue and response methods. The environmental impact of the Amoco Cadiz oil spill can still be felt to this day. <laughs>